Yes, it is Marvel Contest of Champions news time for the 31st of October 2018. I'm Floating Lips Headless Rich the Man and welcome back to the channel. Make sure you're subscribed and you're following the notifications on for when the news goes out. But without further ado, let's get into the news. Our first story and uh, you know, I have to get out of this because I cannot see for shit and it's not it's not helpful. Hi, this is uh well this is weird. In any case, first story is all about the spooky scary skeleton crystal. It's a spooky crystal. There's no skeleton in it. But people do feel a little bit skeleton like when they see what they get out of it. And this is really pushing on top of my eyes at the moment. The general luck has been somewhat disappointing. Even though the crystal did boast a huge amount of different other kind of crystal shards, unfortunately it seems like the community are mainly getting premium, with myself getting premium as well. With some even saying that people that they know in the alliance got the five stars. I would really like the five stars. I think we all would really have loved the five stars. Depending on how you feel on the subject, we will be covering further things of Halloween event or non-event in a moment. But what are your thoughts on what you got? Were you happy with it? Do you think it's just like a little icing on the cake or kind of the cherry on top of the icing for a month that has been quite good at giving back? Your thoughts in the comment section or in this forum post. Next up and let's talk about the exclusive offer. Now to some people when they first saw this offer ping up, which I'll be showing an image of in a minute, they were thinking to themselves, hey, mm, this is quite a good offer. This is very interesting. If you're in the market to buy units, you get the units, but you get some extras with it as well. The offer for £5, $4.99 or whatever currency denomination it is, it's usually this one here. You've got your 135 units for the same price of getting the lowest unit pack. And at the same time, there is also the addition of Stony Mastery Cores, followed up with an Infinity War Crystal, and then we've got some gold with it to boot. This seems like a good deal based on what you buy and the additions to it. For me, I don't really need the Stony Mastery Cores, but people and players that are looking to improve a little bit or kind of like grab maybe a three or a four star for the same price as buying the unit pack that maybe they were going to get in the interim it's not too bad of a deal. Now there's different thought processes and criticism that have been fired back at Kabam based on this. This isn't the first and I doubt this will be the last time where Kabam have put an exclusive deal out on either Android or iOS platforms. At the end of the day I made a decision to use two devices for the game. One being an Android device and the other being an iOS device which at the moment it's currently running Dungeon Hunter Champions on Autify, but you know, I'm recording the news. I know it's blasphemous, but I've completed everything normal, heroic master, symbiote, and as well epic difficulty, so I'm having a bit of an unwind with another game. It is completely up to you how you want to run the game, whether or not it is on iOS or Android as we've just discussed, and whether or not you want to have yourself open for those offers. And I think you should only really be annoyed or offended or peed off by this from the sake of going, right, well, was I actually going to bother to get that deal? If I cared about the deals quite so much they ran it on both platforms, then I should run both devices. Now, whether or not you agree with that thought process or maybe you don't, maybe you want to strictly be an Android grinder and also have occasional exclusive offers and at the same time be on iOS. But maybe you want everything to be merged together. What one type get, the other type get as well. Either way, there's been a response by Kabam on the subject of people's criticisms. Kabam Vidius writes, As many of you know, we do make different offers available to different groups of players at different times. Occasionally, these offers are made in collaboration with one of our partners. In the past, we've had different gifts and offers available to Google Play users, such as the One for Google Apps and Games Against Hunger campaign. While we don't do this kind of thing often, it is always a possibility and that means that the next one may again be exclusive to Google Play. Unfortunately, the war rages onwards and people's responses to that are severely negative, pointing out certain things that there should be same type of offers on both platforms. And in the case of fact, well, Arkabam then saying in that statement that if they do something for World AIDS Day or they do something for the World Wildlife Federation, then therefore is that more of a charitable thing as opposed to this, which was based on improving the player's grind. If you then got something on the Android specific side, where is a, a unit deal that's been reduced, is that fair to one side or not the other? And or does this force people to have both devices, which, you know, I'm even part of the problem that 
by me having two devices, are there then gonna be theoretically two million people out there that both run an Android and iOS device? So therefore, are we improving the stats for Kabam's downloads for Marvel Contest of Champions? That is what we've been kind of led to. Um, have both devices so you can get both sides of the offers. And that could be a thing. I'm not saying that that, that is more than likely it is, but in some ways it does look like that way. But there are a lot of free to play players that have been really cool and really honorable in this that have just said like, okay, it's an offer. I don't really buy into the game, but I don't really care about it and keep calm and carry on. But what are your thoughts? Are you thinking that it is good? Is it bad? Do you agree with the point about the download side of things? What's your thoughts? Do you have both devices as well? Let me know in the comment section or go over to this forum post. On to our next story and following on from the thing that we started off with, criticism about a Halloween based event. Why have we not seen it? Is it not going to be a thing? Is it a case they didn't plan for it to begin with? What is the story? Now it could be argued that the Spooky Crystal was the equivalent to that. In other games that I'm playing at the moment, they are indeed running a Halloween event. And to kind of give you an idea, uh, because I'm playing Dungeon Hunter Champions and I hate mentioning other games quite so much, they are actually running at this moment in time three events, three special events. One being something that's just popped in and two type of Halloween type events, which comparable to Marvel Contest Champions is really weird uh, to have so much thrusted at you. But let's stick with the game here, Marvel Contest Champions, and there's been a response. So the symbiote based event, symbiote difficulty, and having the symbiote in your account is the whole kind of Halloween based event. It's like a Halloween month. Occult Labs are kind of an offset from that, and obviously it's kind of cool having dungeons back in there. But Kabam didn't really make this kind of big thing of saying like a month of Halloween, which I think would have been quite good to kind of let the community go, hey, this is a, a big Halloween event. Though they have dropped in a good amount of five star shards into the calendar, which I can kind of rate and respect. But I think a lot of players are looking for something kind of like really direct, like we're going to do a big Halloween event. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And a big thing like that, maybe a Halloween offer, which they've kind of do with, done with the monster kind of crystal bundle where abominations in it as a five star. Either way, they've made efforts, but it doesn't feel like it's kind of like it's big, it's kind of massive that uh, that you can see it for definite. And Kaban Mike even says like it is a month long event, but also says that the way that they've done the symbiote difficulty is that it's more of a this month is more for a free for all with a lot of players, regardless of their position in the game, whether or not they're uncollected or not, are able to get up and do epic difficulty that they maybe wouldn't been able to have done before, which I think is, is really nice. And it feels that a great amount of kind of uh, inclusion and community spirit, which has been lacking uh, a little bit of late. However, though, I, you know, they're kind of like, hey, um, could we get up to that symbiote difficulty? And to a degree, Yes, a lot of them are definitely trying for that, but uh, maybe maybe not getting that. This is a one month only for them. Next month, it may be a case that those that weren't uncollected may um, obviously, well, they can't get up to do that epic difficulty or uncollected difficulty, but uh, you can strive to it and hopefully those that are aiming to get uncollected at some point, get it done as soon as possible. We've got Christmas coming up. It's a bit of a grind time. We can't go outside because it's, uh, you know, it's a bit... It's a bit dreary, it's a bit cold, but make sure that you are getting plenty of exercise and uh, obviously you're eating right. If you watched my MCC burnout video, then that's good advice. And those that maybe thought that it was a bit weird, yeah, okay, it was a bit out there. Oh, where, oh, where is the announcement for the event quest next month? Well, the answer is it hasn't really been put out yet and we'll probably have that released towards the end of the week, which will be quite nice. Or as per usual, what happens to me is I post a Marvel Contest of Champions news and then details of the next month event goes out. Either way, you shouldn't be worried in any kind of way because we have been given a good amount of information through the New York Comic Con that let us know about the certain champions going out. New York Comic Con saw the announcement of a champion called Aegon and as well, the champion. Cosmic champion and a skill champion, but both exist in some sort of cosmic based entity. And I'm trying to kind of get the idea to you that they're from a different planet where one is native to that planet and maybe one other is not so native and there's kind of like a thing with it. There's going to be a good story to it. it did, there was a good story to follow on uh, with this event so it's quite exciting to see what they've got in November. And shout out to that one master gamer who mentions me there about this particular information about Aegon. 
Kabam Zibit says that an announcement is uh, it's not ready yet, but when it does, people will know. And I suspect it will probably go out in the next couple of days, so expect the Marvel Contest of Champions news to reflect that. Next story is about Lil Steve. We all love Lil Steve. He's done so many great things, and uh, I was mentioned within this forum post. Shout out to you, Chunky B, and as well as the rest of the people that commented and at the same time posted images of, uh, of Lil Steve and your stories. This has been one of these kind of fun community spirit things that I really rate. I think it shows great class within this community. And Lil Steve has done some amazing things. As you can see here, he's been made famous by recently being featured on the Rich The Man channel. Lil Steve has also been having some wild, wild parties. So, you know, he gets up to some crazy things. But Kaban Vidius, no, he's not going to be removed from our accounts. You crazy fool. Keep him in there for good. And the latest is Lil Steve is going out trick or treating. So we wish him a very lovely time from all of the community. And our final story is arena predictions time. We've got Gelatine going in as the featured and then we've got old Beardy Boy going in as the four star basic. This I don't really know how to call but I'll give it a good shot. So Captain America, the Infinity War version, I would probably say would go for anything around about three mil flat but maybe 3.1 or 3.2 to be safe. If I compare him on the same usage level as what Hulk Ragnarok went for fairly recently. So he went for about 3.1, 3.2, and that's where I kind of chart the old Mr. Beardo himself. When it comes to guillotine, however, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. Though the four star seems fairly predictable around about 5.5 to 6 mil. And then when we got the five star in the conjunction with this, I would probably say that that would go for anything in the region of 22 to 25 mil being max. Though I think 22 mil is like maybe the higher point than that and there'll be a, a very disappointing 18 mil it will go for. But let's go and say with meet you in the middle, 22 mil to be safe. Thank you very much for watching this edition of Marvel Contest Champions News for the 31st of October 2018. Have a happy Halloween! Whatever this is, this is some sort of demented thing. Oh, I question my life sometimes. Make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions content as well as hit the like button and uh, yep, yeah, uh, post notifications on because no one gets to see my live streams. So follow me on social media as well because that would help. But in any case, thanks so much for watching and as always, I shall catch you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. I promise you I'm not mental. Happy Halloween!